Hello, 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 and welcome. We're going to talk about the freaky mouth. Now, what is it and why is it important? Well, it's important because uh, it's going to help you not go flat. And the ends of your words, they're not going to get lost either. All of us go flat. At some point, the producer is going to say to us, hey, you didn't hit that note. You need to go over it again. It was flat. Hmm, okay. Or the ends of that word, we, we really didn't get it, you, you fell off, and also you might have gone flat. We've all done it. Whether you're a beginner, you're singing for a long time, you're a pro, it doesn't matter. It happens to everybody. It's happened to me, it's happened live when I've sung, and you know, you can't do anything then. So we want to solve it and eliminate a big percentage of this happening. And we want to eliminate constantly getting the note, not getting the note, okay? It's going to help you, number one, not strain, improve, number two, improve your sound, your style, and then the one that I mentioned. You know, going flat, you know, getting it, sometimes getting it or not getting it. It can be extremely frustrating, and I know you know what I mean. You've gone through this. I know you're saying to yourself, oh my gosh, that's me. That's what's happened to me. I practice it. You know, I get it sometimes, but then I don't get it. Well, the fact is, the way you practice and get the muscles used to doing it is going to be so important. Then it's going to eliminate 90-some percent of the time when you go to perform that you will not do that flatness. You will have your style. You'll go for the notes with confidence. So that's what the freaky mouth is gonna help you with, okay? Alrighty. So I'm going to show you the freaky mouth. Black velvet with that little boy smile. Freaky mouth. Black smile. So many times when my students are not getting notes, they're not opening their mouths enough. And one of my students was like, um, she looked at me and she said, oh, that's the freaky mouth. And that's why I called this the freaky mouth. That works. She said, it, oh my gosh, it's, it's really open. I know I, I know I could, I told her that and she said, well, yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> And I, I know it looks like so open and so big. Just remember, when you got the plane coming out of the hangar, you don't want to cut off the top, you don't want to cut off the wings. It's got to fly out of there. And that's how your sound has to do. Your sound has to fly out of there. You give everything the opportunity, all of your sound the opportunity to come out and not get caught back here. Not get caught. Black, black. I can't do it very much because I'm going to hurt myself. So you don't want to get caught and get the sound choked in here. You're trying to get it. Your mouth is closed. You can't get it. You're choking here. You're pinching in here. And after a while, the voice is going to get real tired. It's going to get mad. You're going to get, you're not going to be able to be seen very long. And you'll go, what is wrong? The freaky mouth, you just didn't open up enough. And even just doing that little thing for you, my voice feels like it's like, you know, you're really being in bed, so I don't want to do it again. Let me try with you, let me try an exercise. Kids in the schoolyard. Hey, yell! Now, if you're going to yell across the street, you open your mouth. Hey, yo! Right? You really open your mouth for that. So if you're just in front of somebody, hey, yo, you wouldn't have to. Or hey, yo, you know, it's conversational, but this isn't conversational. Yeah, yeah, right up there. So try it with me. Yeah, yeah. Make sure the tongue is forward. You're lifting up off the roof, but you've got that freaky mouth going. Next note, try it. There you go.
Again, keep the mouth open. Now we're in a transition area. Notice how I stay open here, and I've got a very bright sound. Again. Yeah! Yeah! Don't pull down at all. Lift up high. Freaky mouth. Good. If you think of a yawn in the back, you want to think about raising back there. Yeah! But it is, think of it coming out right about here. Here we go. Again. Yeah! Yeah! Lift up. You can see Mount Vesuvius in my mouth. <laughs> now, I gotta tell you, as you're doing that, if you're feeling tight in here, you get a tickle, then you're doing it wrong. You're pushing too much. So, you don't wanna feel anything. It should fly out of your mouth. Now let's do it nice and easy because you went and you worked your muscles hard. Yeah, yeah. Nice and easy. Yeah. Yeah. Tone, not air. Yeah. Yeah. Notice I'm still showing my teeth. and light. Again, nice and light. It's lifted up high off the roof. Next note. Again here. vibrato on that one. So really open your mouth when you want to sing. Get used to that. Practice that way so that when you go to really perform, your muscles are used to that setting. They're used to that freaky mouth setting so that when there's so much nervousness because you're you might be live, you're in the studio, a lot of things are coming on you. Your mouth, your muscles are used to going to that big open setting. It's really, really going to help you. I would love to hear from you. It, how has this helped you? What did you get from anything that I said? Okay, leave a comment, let me know. Okay, you can also sub 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 subscribe. Okay, cause it's such a day, yeah, such a mighty fine day. Notice I did the freaky mouth, honey. <laughs> bye, 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 bye.